Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. All right, so season three is here. There are a whole bunch of changes happening and I know we're all super excited. However, today I want to talk specifically about Mercy because I know a lot of you guys play her. She has been pretty dominant in season two of competitive and now unfortunately she has been nerfed pretty hard. Before I dive into the specific changes, here's a broad recap from the developer comments. Okay, so this is what they said. Replacing Mercy's regeneration passive with a more interesting interaction was something we wanted to do after all support heroes gained a similar version of it through their role passive. For the Caduceus staff change, this will empower Mercy even more as a triage healer and enable her to more often save low health allies. The overall time it takes to full heal a 200 health hero from 1 HP is about the same as before. For Guardian Angel, the cooldown increase is necessary to reduce the greatly increased mobility resulting from the recent rework to the jump cancel. It enabled Mercy to quickly launch herself long distances in any direction and be overly evasive for such a short downtime. Okay, so there's quite a bit to unpack here, but let's start with the Guardian Angel changes because this was definitely hit the hardest. So the cooldown on GA has been increased quite significantly by an extra second from 1.5 to 2.5 seconds. This means that it's now much harder to escape your enemies during a teamfight and positioning becomes more important and less forgiving than before. On top of this, backwards GA now moves 20% slower so this is a huge nerf to Mercy's movement. Frankly, I'm quite annoyed by these changes because as I've mentioned many times before, Mercy's movement is the one thing I really enjoy about the hero and now it feels slow, clunky and nowhere near as satisfying to use. Sure, this might make Mercy easier to kill when you're on the enemy team, but that was never really the problem with Mercy in the first place. If you recall recent discussions about Mercy, the focus has really been on whether damage boost or res was healthy for the game and how it would be best to rework those abilities. Surprise surprise, none of these have been tweaked in this round of balance changes. I think this nerf really affects her mobility and survivability, which is one of her strengths compared to other supports and will probably impact her viability in the meta. Moving on, Mercy's healing has also been changed so that her flat healing rate has been reduced from 55 to 45 HP per second. However, the healing is increased by 50% for allies under half health. In practice, this means that it should be easier for Mercy to save teammates who are critical while reducing the time it takes to simply top off someone who has only taken a bit of damage. I think this is actually a good change for Mercy since her role isn't a main healer anyway, and that extra healing when your ally is critical can come in quite clutch. As the devs mentioned, the overall time it takes to heal someone from 1 HP is about the same, so this isn't a game-breaking change by any means. The last change is to Mercy's regeneration passive, which has been replaced by a new passive ability called Sympathetic Recovery. Whereas previously Mercy would receive more passive healing when not being damaged, she now instead heals herself for 25% of the healing done instead. I think this is also a good change in that it gives you a bit more control over the character and can be useful in situations where, for example, you're in the middle of an intense fight and you need to stay alive without immediately running for cover to passively regenerate generate health. All in all, I think the changes to Mercy's healing aren't bad and can actually make her job as a healer easier in certain situations, however this is just completely overshadowed by the GA nerfs which just makes her feel much more slow and clunky to play. In my few practice sessions on the test server I felt like I was much more of a heal slash damage boost bot than before and almost like something was weighing me down and I was just so much easier to kill. I really hope they revert these nerfs or at least give her another movement mechanic to compensate because she feels awesome awful now and I think I might stick to Kiriko or some other support if she stays this way. Anyway that's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it and please leave your thoughts in the comments below.